You are listening to the PRO Media Network, the next level in entertainment. Sports World, Sports Family. This is DC from the Sports Coma. We're going to bring you live, innovative, educating, inspirational. You know that's big Q is, y'all. I ain't doing that. But you know what it is. Happy to be back. Happy to talk to y'all. We're going to get into some topics today with the New Orleans Saints. We're going to talk about some players that got cut. And none other than your boy himself said it was going to happen for one of them. I guess I had my crystal ball out on that one. And we also going to cover an article from PFF. Uh, We talked about how horrendous our offensive line was. Well, let's give him a little credit. Just a little credit. Uh, Q did a good job of talking about Rick Leonard last night. Last time, we're going to talk about another player that your boy DC has always been high on, who actually been doing okay in a limited amount of snaps. So, with no further ado, let's get into these cuts. Tell you who got the snips, pulled out the scissors on them. I also want to introduce my (laughs) co-host, Q. And I would like to thank all y'all, the new subscribers, from the bottom of my heart, for real. But I'm absent-minded, so I did forget. But nonetheless, I do appreciate y'all, and I would like to thank y'all for joining the platform and making it possible for us to do what we do and actually appreciating what we do. So big hand claps for y'all. And uh, a, little, a little hand clap for uh, Big Q, y'all. How y'all doing, <laughs> people? What's going on? Thank y'all. New and established viewers listeners of the show as dc uh astutely mentioned uh dc without further ado what you got for us today brother all right let me let you know so today we had three players that got released none other than the the game breaking josh huff i mean he made so many plays in preseason i don't see why the saints cut him So Josh Huff is out of here, y'all. We ain't got to worry about no uh, weed getting snuck through the airport and Gatorade bottles and all that nonsense. Uh, you don't have to worry about a suspension. And a we ain't, ain't, ain't got to worry about a suspension dealing with okay. any of that. Uh, the right. 26-year-old product uh, from call Philadelphia Josh Puff, is out of here. You should call him who? Josh Puff? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that's, like, yeah, yeah. Puff, is Puff. it Josh Huff or Josh, Josh, Huff or Josh, uh, Josh Puff? And the Saints puff puff passed on him. So yeah. we we moving on. Best of luck to you, Josh. I hope you get your life together, my brother. And the next guy they cut was uh this one is a little it's a little sad. It's a hometown guy. He actually suffered an injury. Uh that would be Ricky Jefferson. You know, he went out there and, and tore and uh well, he tore his ACL and instead of placing him on injury reserve, the Saints decided to cut Jefferson. Um, he didn't make a huge splash out there in the preseason, so I can definitely understand why. But he's a hometown guy from Destrahan. Would have loved to see him get a shot and uh, slowly mature, grow into something. But you know how we do if he get healthy and uh, get himself together. Maybe, maybe next year he gets another shot. So best of luck to you, Ricky. Jefferson, I hope you get well, man, and uh, come back stronger than, than ever before, man, and, and and make a shot at it, whether it be with us or somebody else. And the last guy I saved to tell you guys about, get the drums out, this is going to be a big one. <laughs> well, not that big. <laughs> but they cut Terrence West, yo. I know, I know. Y'all like, yeah, DC, they cut Terrence West. Wasn't you hyping him? I was, and I explained on the last show, I was sorry. <laughs> And I said, T was going to get rid of him. <laughs> the Terrence West I was hyping didn't weigh an extra 35 pounds. So, 
when I saw Mr. Uh, you talking about Josh Huff or Puff Puff, he looked like Puff, the Michelin man. He got all that extra weight on him, man. He, he just didn't do anything here. Yeah, I mean, he had a few good runs that one game, but um, the Terrence West experiment is over, y'all. Uh, Mark Ingram will not be getting traded in the middle of the season because Terrence West is playing good. So I got to eat all my words on that. But, hey, you, you, you go big or you go home. Terrence West has bounced around from Cleveland to Baltimore in a short stint with the Saints. This is a uh, – That'd be pretty embarrassing for somebody who actually had two starting jobs that he couldn't even just make the team uh, out of, what, a rookie, some uh, second-year player, and uh, who else we got? Uh, an old veteran that can't do nothing but catch the ball. You the first one to get cut. So, wow, Terrence West. Uh, hopefully this is an eye-opener for him and uh, the start of maybe him getting his season back on track. I mean, he looks like a Mark Ingram clone, man. You look at his highlight tapes from college and some of the stuff he did in the league is not that bad. But for whatever reason, I don't know, I guess he ate too much gumbo down here. You got anything you want to let the people know about these uh, cuts? Q, what's your, what's your opinion on this? Uh, well, I think there's no need for you to say uh, that you need to eat your words on that. I think Terrence West did that for you. Uh, yeah! Outside, I think a lot of stuff that happened with Terrence West. Of course, when he came, like you astutely said, that we was thinking that we was getting Terrence West that was in shape, the guy that had some wiggles, some speed to him, a little power. This guy came in overweight. We mentioned on the previous show that he appeared to be pudgy. They had the radio guys basically calling them fat. So you had a lot of uh, people realized that Terrence West wasn't in the best shape of his career coming here. And of course, that's John Payton does not play that. He will. He don't. He doesn't play football players coming here under shape. And it's like in the game when he got some of the game reps in the last contest against Arizona. You know, he didn't look good. He didn't look streamlined. I remember he tried to make that catch over his head with one hand. I don't know what that was, but Sean Payton obviously seen enough of him to say, you know what, Mm-mm, you're gone. And credit to D.C. because D.C. did say on the last show that Terrence West is not going to make it, that he's out of here. There's no hope for him. And But D.C. also said Shane Vereen is next up to get the axe as well. So he did put those two together. So it'd be interesting to see. I'm waiting for the shoe to drop on the other one. So uh, as far as uh, Jefferson, we covered that on the previous show. And Josh Puff Huff, that's not really a shocker. We That's not really a shocker on Huff. We knew that he was facing sus- suspension before the season started, that he wasn't really making any headway in camp. And he was so far behind. Brandon Tate came in here and basically just kind of pushed him out of the way. So, uh, that's my take on uh, those releasings. Okay. Good insight, Q. Good insight. And, yep, I'm going to rub it in one more time. I said it was going to happen. Shane Vereen, you up next. <laughs> there ain't no way we're going to keep him. With, uh, with Williams playing the way he is and Boston Scott playing the way he is, we have a dynamite running group. I don't think I got no room for Shane Vereen, man. Uh, Trey Edmonds still got to find his way on the team because he's a very excellent special teams player, very above average blocker two for a running back, so um, trying him out at the fullback spot. But let's move on and talk about the real blockers. So PPF has been releasing the players of the week for the preseason, and we actually had two of them wind up in the mix. As far as our offensive line, you had a guy by none other than the name of Ryan Ramchak. Yep, a rookie from last year that, in my opinion, I said, should have been a Pro Bowl, but I understand why. He's a rookie, and you got to do some pretty phenomenal stuff to make the Pro Bowl as a rookie. And it's amazing enough that we had Alvin Kamara and Marshawn Lattimore, but wouldn't that have been amazing if Ryan Ramchak was there too? Wow. He only had six snaps of pass protection, and he surrendered no pressure. That's that's a pretty good achievement. I mean, it was only six, six snaps, but still. Ryan Ramchak's run blocking, he had a... Uh, Couple of highlight reels, you know, and that was that was right. definitely a beautiful thing. His first play came on outside zone run when he was able to work across the entire shade to cut off three technique Robert Nikovich and pancake him to the ground. He was also too much for the Cardinals linebacker, line first round linebacker Hassan Reddick to cope with at the second level. So Ryan Ramchek is definitely the man, and he was. The player of the week, or one of the players of the week on the Saints team, let's put it that way. 
So shout outs to Ryan Ramchek, man on a mission. That's going to be definitely our next mm-hmm. Pro Bowl offensive tack. But um, glad to see his maturation process is still on tack and there ain't going to be no such thing as a sophomore slump with him. But there was also another Saint that was in the mix that they gave some love to. And it's none other than my man far as the guy I feel like will come in and be that that sixth uh, man eventually on the Saints. If not this year, then definitely next year. Uh, Will Clapp from LSU. Will Clapp during the game, he played right guard and he played center. He displayed an impressive power at point of attack. He didn't allow any pressures across 26 blocking snaps and was partially effective in the run game on a combination of blocks. Taking care of the first man at the line of scrimmage before climbing to take out the lineback. So, well, crap. So far, he looks great. Second year lineman, camera time. You might be in trouble, bro. <laughs> I don't know if we gonna we gonna keep two centers, Big Q. I think. Uh, so I, I, I think so, but usually the Saints like the backup centers to be guards. They can do more than one. And Will Clapp seems like a guy that showing that uh, famous Neo Calamente uh, vibe. And Will Clapp obviously was the the favorite why the Saints were looking to land him to be that man to replace uh, C.O. Calamity because the damn show's not Bushrod. It's damn show not Josh Terrible Laribus. Cameron Tyne has been exi- non-existent. He's just an invisible man walking around with Saints gear on. Um, outside of that. Cameron Tyne, he did a few things, man. I've seen him do uh, something. Man, I'm not. That, he, he, ain't been no. like, he ain't been like Josh Laribus. Josh, no, nobody. <laughs> Josh Laribus has been terrible. Bush ride, Josh Laribus. The, the only, most famous, uh, famous guy out the bus right now for the wrong reasons. <laughs> the most effective reserve lineman that's been in this far, so far, uh, has been obviously uh, who we always talk about, a guy like uh, Rick Leonard who's been – steady then of course and nobody seems to want to write articles all you guys out there that's writing articles about saints because somebody put a damn article together for andrew tiller because andrew tiller is a solid offensive lineman he's been sturdy no one's talking about andrew tiller you put the tape on he's there nobody seems to care about andrew tiller and of course then there's will clap uh that there everybody uh new orleans has gotten gotten a clap from will clap so i mean it's so I, you got to leave that one alone, bro. <laughs> so, so all I'm saying at the end of the day, Saints fam, <laughs> nobody ain't gonna want to come down here and party no more, bro. You know what? That man probably got that his whole life, man. So I'm gonna just leave it at that. So, yeah. uh, just uh, I wonder how that name came about. The clap. That is such a that's, weird that's, name. That, that is, this is not the show for that. Okay, <laughs> this is a fabulous show. This is not the show for that. <laughs> Well, the, you know, the, the little ones need to know about sexual education so they don't get the clap. <laughs> never know what we're going to talk about here on the sports call, man. Just be honest with you. But anyway, they talked about Will. Will is a guy. He's a hometown guy, LSU guy. He did, you know, local. I mean, just terrific. He obviously is really stepping up. And the fact that in his spare time, he was able to go and take uh part-time classes at MIT. That's how he was able to learn how to play center guard and probably going to mix him in a little tackle, it, you know, down the line. Same, they give him the Andrews Pete treatment. But a uh, uh, big respect to Will Clapp. Real, uh, Ryan Ramchek, we know he's a serious offensive lineman. Right. Uh, that's the give and go. But Rick Leonard, obviously, is really another person to watch out for, and it feels good to know that Leonard and Ramchek is right. So you kind of push Bush right out the way. This will really be good because Rick Leonard could be a guy that could kind of cushion when Teron Armstead eventually gets hurt because he does it every year. He's going to get hurt at some point. I think Teron Armstead is, is going to finally be healthy this year. I mean, it, you can't get hurt every year. Of course you can get hurt every year. You can get hurt. You can't year. get hurt. Every and Teron year, Armstead's been hurt every year to miss game. Well, he ain't. You ain't gonna miss games hurt every year. And Will Clap and, and Will Clap uh, uh, graded out at a seventy-seven by PFF as well. And uh, Ryan Ramchek graded out as a ninety-six. Forgot to mention that. What does Josh Laribas rank out as? Uh, a negative thirty. I, I, I believe it. <laughs> He ain't rank out very much at all. <laughs> we probably could have did a whole segment on Josh Lariba so going over his highlights. You better believe it. I, I would love to play defensive end 
against him. All defensive tackle, it really don't matter. You remember that play when he got when he got through to the ground? How bad his technique was. The defensive lineman literally hit him, and his his leg was up in the air trying to block. You remember that? He looked he looked like a sumo wrestler to me when he did that. You know how they like they put the the white powder on their hands, and then and they, they put their, their leg feet. all the way up before they stomp their feet. His yeah. leg was literally like six uh, feet yeah. in the air. That was I'm sumo like, who would block somebody with that leg way up there, man? That sumo <laughs> Laribas. I'm surprised. I was just surprised he didn't fall immediately. He actually fell down gracefully. He was helped down. <laughs> he was let down. <laughs> so that's going to cover all our content for today's show. We want to give a few shout outs to our offensive line for some that's players that actually deserved it because we was real hard on the line going over that preseason loss to the Cardinals. But uh, this is me, DC, and we had Big Q on the show, and we want to thank y'all for tuning in. Oh, yeah, with no further ado, I want to uh, tell y'all one more thing before we get out here. I would like for y'all to like the show, to please share it with everybody. Share it on Reddit. Can you join us on Patreon, www.patreon.com? Just, just help us to get these views up and build this platform to what you guys want it to be so we can get y'all the best possible Saints media experience possible. All right. With that out the way, we'll be at y'all next time. Peace. Peace. Forget ESPN or Fox. Get straight sports talk from the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys. What's up, sports world? The PRO Media Network is on a mission to reach 10,000 subscribers. So besides our regular programs like the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys, the Pelican Post Game Report, Rapid Fire TSC, and others, we will be expanding out and offering other content like movie, anime, and gaming reviews for your entertainment. So if you enjoy our content, please donate at our Patreon page. Also subscribe, comment, and share and help the PRO Media Network reach 10,000 subs. Peace. What's up, sports world? This Big Q from the Sports Coma with Big Q and the guys. I'm talking to you about the website, theposhlifestyle.com. That's right, poshlifestyle.com. A great website where you can get great products at great prices. They sell organic herbs, vitamins, supplements, water filters for your home, EMF and cell phone radiation protection, healing magnetics and healing crystals, personal protection devices like cell phones, stun guns, and mace spray, organic deodorants, shampoos, soaps, toothpaste, and more. They also sell 10A grade Brazilian hair. 10A music is available now. All kind of the latest down downloadable mixtapes so what are you waiting for head on over to the posh lifestyle.com that's the posh lifestyle life spell with a y l y f e style.com put in the sports coma for the 10 percent discount on your purchase it's a win-win so get your mind and body right with the posh lifestyle <laughs>